As I choose different pens and start to use them with my tablet, you'll notice that the tools list starts to populate with all the different pens that I can use. And I can now go between the grip pen and the art pen and give them different settings. You'll see my grip pen is still has a firm feel. But if I go to my art pen, that I have that set at a medium feel. Now, I can move that up to firm as well, and that will keep its settings independently from the grip pen. Now, at the moment, I have tilt sensitivity set to normal, and we're going to have a look at tilt sensitivity and how that works. So we're going to jump over to Photoshop, and with the art pen selected, if I click and start to draw, you'll notice that as I press harder and tilt the pen, I'm not only getting different weights of line, but different... Uh, thickness of line depend on how I tilt the pen and that's because of the nib you'll see we've got this chiseled nib and it's actually looking at the direction that I turn the pen as well as how hard I press the pen to determine the thickness of the line so you can get these amazingly complex and detailed lines just by pressing and rotating the pen around now, it's hard to see exactly what's happening with that brush. So what I'm going to do is in my brushes presets, I'm going to choose one of the natural media brushes, which will really show how this works. So we're going to choose this one here. And you'll see that as I move and tilt my brush, notice what's happening as I rotate and tilt the brush. It's changing the way that the brush works. And if I give myself a nice big brush stroke, so I'm just going to increase the size there, you'll really see the preview showing me how that's going to work. And if I click and drag, I can create all these patterns just by rotating the pen around. And I'm, all I'm doing is pressing and rotating the pen. And I can create all these amazing textures, like grassy textures, just by rotating around and create amazing flower shapes and all sorts of beautiful shapes using these natural media tools and just tilting the pen around. Now, I'm going to undo a few steps. So let's just undo back to where we were before. And another thing that we can do if we select this brush here is to go back to our control panel and just adjust that to make it even more tilt sensitive. So if I put that up to high and we come back to Photoshop, you'll notice now that as I tilt the pen around, it's really changing the aspect of it quite dramatically. So I just tilt it back and forth and the pen picks up that tilt quite a lot. So let's just make that a bit smaller and you'll see now I can create these kind of swathes of patterns. Now if I take the opacity of that brush down to maybe, I don't know, about 30%, then I can start to build these lovely shapes by combining different movements with the pen on top of each other. So basically I'm creating layers of these angled textures just by rotating the pen around, not really having to drag it anywhere. And you get lovely feedback in this little display here of how that brush is bending and moving as I rotate it around. So a lot of feedback for tilt sensitivity in Photoshop. You can set up some of your options in Photoshop by using the brush dynamic settings, but you can also use the Wacom control panel to have a massive effect on how tilt sensitivity and pressure sensitivity works across all applications.